Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on the FTP downloader. Now you can see we have these two buttons here called load files and clear. Now I just added these so it makes it easy to update the list and it also makes it easy to clear everything from the list. Now this doesn't actually delete any files when you click clear, it's just going to clear our list box. So whenever the user clicks check for new files, let's just go ahead and refresh the list. So now we'll come back in here and whenever they clear the list, we'll just type list FTP files dot items dot clear. So now if we go ahead and run this, we can go ahead and go to the home directory and if we click load files, it actually upload not uploads, it uh, updates the files in here and it doesn't look like anything's changing but it's actually going through and uh, adding all of them to the list. We can also clear it and then when we click load files again it's going to add them back in there. So now we have one last button and it's called start checking for new files. Now this button, uh, what we're going to program for it is going to be very useful. What it's going to do is it's going to start a timer and every so often it's going to check for new files in the um, FTP server and if it detects that a new file is there it's going to notify us of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a variable that we can use. So we'll do private checking as boolean and we'll set that equal to false. So this is going to let us know if, the, if it's checking for new files. So let's double click on the event for start checking for new files and we'll say checking equals not checking. Okay so now that it is reversed so it starts out as, as false and when they click it the first time it's going to be true because it is um, it will be checking now. So if checking then what do we want to do? Well, we want to set the button text. So button check for new files dot text is going to be equal to, and let's see here, start checking for new files. So if it's checking, then we want it to say stop checking for new files. And then after that, let's do timer checking dot start. Now this is going to give us an error because we have not created timer checking yet, but we're going to do that uh, later on. So then we'll do else if not checking. So if checking is equal to false, uh, by saying not checking, that's just basically saying else if checking is equal to false, then what do we want to do? We will set button check for new files dot text is going to be equal to start checking for new files and then we'll stop the timer so timer checking dot stop okay so now what we need to do is we'll come over here to form one and we need to add a timer so this is going to be under your components double click on timer to add it to the form and now we will set the name of timer to timer checking so you can set the interval of timer checking to whatever you want, but I'm going to leave mine at one millisec or 100 milliseconds for now, which is a tenth of a second, and this is going to be a good time. So we'll double click on timer checking to open up the tick event for it, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through each file in the server directory and see if there's one that we don't already have. So we're going to type for each, and we'll do file in FTP downloader dot list directory detail. So for each of the files in there, what we want to do is check to see if we already have it. So we'll do this by using a simple if statement. So if and then we'll just say not list FTP files dot items dot contains and we want to see if it contains file dot file name so basically what this is doing if 
and let's just ignore the not for now. So if list FTP files that item stock contains file dot file name. So if the file that is in the current iteration of this for each loop um, is already in the um, list box, then we know we already have it. And so we're using not here. So if it's not already in there, then what do we want to do? We want to add that to the um, list box. So lift list FTP files dot items dot add and we will add file dot file name. Now we need to have a way of showing this to the um, user so that they know that there is a new file. So let's come over here into form1.vb and we need to open our toolbox and let's go ahead and find a notify icon. Let's see here. Here's our notify icon. And we'll just set this to the name of this to notify new file. So go ahead and put this code in and create the notify icon. And then in the, in the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to use this.